Hey guys, it's Mitch from Gamefront, and you may have noticed that we've been releasing a step-by-step -step guide of how to unlock Whimsy Shire in five parts. Well, in case you wanted something a little bit easier to take in rather than having to, to go from part to part, here's our comprehensive guide all put together as one video. The Black Mushroom is found in the Cathedral Level 1. If you don't find it on your first run through, use the waypoint to reach the Cathedral Garden, then head into Leoric's Passage, and from there you can head into Cathedral Level 1 through the back. The Black Mushroom is pretty rare, so expect to do multiple run-throughs of the level before finally finding it. It's easy to spot on the ground as it is actually a patch of Black Mushrooms that you can interact with. Once picked up, the item will bind itself to your character, meaning that you cannot trade, sell, or drop the item. Thanks for watching our guide on finding the Black Mushroom in Diablo 3, step 1 in the process of opening up the portal to the secret Whimsy Shire level. Stay tuned for more guides in the future, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The Shinbone can be found in Act 1, appropriately, at Leoric's Manor. Like the Black Mushroom, it's a random chance that the item will even appear, but fortunately the item is always in the same place and the actual manor is fairly small. Use the waypoint to teleport to the manor and then follow this path until you reach a room with the fireplace. If you move your mouse over the fireplace and it says burnt logs, then just click on it and claim your prize. Otherwise, quit out, restart, and try again. First of all, make sure that you set aside a lot of time and that you have a lot of patience before you decide to go for this item because it is a grade A pain in the ass to get. The item can be found in Act 2 at the Dalgur Oasis, inside a dungeon known as the Mysterious Cave. Now, the Mysterious Cave will not always show up in the Dalgur Oasis. It's a random throw of the dice. Instead of just wandering around the whole oasis searching for it though, what you can do is use the path of the oasis waypoint, follow the path to the right, and hug the southern wall until you come across an opening. Head through the narrow passage and if you see a merchant there, you're in luck. Save the merchant from the monsters and you'll be able to head inside the mysterious cave. If there's no merchant there, quit out, restart, and try again. Once you're in the dungeon though, you're still not in the clear. Inside the mysterious cave, you'll need to find a mysterious chest. Once again, this is a random chance that the chest is even inside the cave. If you go through both levels of the cave without finding the mysterious chest, quit out, restart, and try again. I managed to find my mysterious chest in level 1 of the cave. Just to give you some perspective, even after learning the trick of using the path to the oasis waypoint, this took me hours of retrying in order to find, so I make no exaggeration when I say that you need to have a lot of patience, time, and some luck in order to get this item. The Gibbering Gemstone can be found in Act 3, and once again, it can be kind of a pain in the ass to find. In order to find it, you need to use the Bridge of Corsic Waypoint and head east into the Fields of Slaughter. From here, you need to roam around looking for a cave called the Caverns of Frost. Not only is there not a set location for this cave, but it's also not always going to spawn in the Fields of Slaughter. If you find a cave called the Ice Caverns, it means the cave you're looking for likely isn't going to spawn, and you should just quit out and try again. Once inside the Caverns of Frost, head down into level 2 and explore the area with the hopes of encountering a unique monster named Chiltara. Once again, this monster is not guaranteed to spawn. If he doesn't, you're going to have to quit out and try again. Kill Chiltara and hopefully he will drop the Gibbering Gemstone. Now I'm not sure if this is a rare drop because he happened to drop it the first time we killed him. The recipe for the Staff of Herding is found in Act 4 and is a rare drop from the boss Izuo. The good news at least is that you're not going to be hunting down randomly spawning caves and then hoping for a randomly spawning enemy or item to appear in those caves. It took me about 4 or 5 run throughs of Izuo before finding the recipe and on the successful run, I had about 50% magic find. So you might want to consider putting on some MF gear to make things a little bit easier. Once you have the recipe, the next step is to farm up some gold. Once you get 100,000 gold, head to Act 2's Bazaar and look for Squirt the Peddler. Click on the miscellaneous tab of her shop and purchase Squirt's Cowbell. Now that you have all the ingredients, you're going to need another 50,000 gold to craft the item. Once you've got the golden hand, head to the blacksmith, teach him the recipe, and craft the Staff of Herding. With the Staff in hand, head to Act 1 and wander around Old Tristram Road until you spot the ghost of the Cow King emerge from a skeleton next to a cliff. Talk to the Cow King for some fun dialogue, and you'll be all set for your journey to the land of whimsical fantasy. Hmm. <clears throat> we see you have brought the item. That is good. We are utterly pleased. <laughs> 
I studied all of the holy texts for years. There was nothing about cows with speech. Yet, you are a cow. And you are a stinking bag of flesh with no fur. Ah, <laughs> touche. Ah, this is no time to be silly. The level of sparkling happiness and rainbows awaits you. You mean the cow level? No! There is no cow level. No. Ma! Uh, excuse me. Moo the lawn. Thanks for watching our guide showcasing how to unlock Flimsy Shire in Diablo 3, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.